Hi guys, this is a Volvo D13 Delta P for the DPF system. So, I was looking for the sensor that would fail this perfect way <laughs> so that uh, I can make this video. So, start with, uh, this is the old style Delta P DPF. It's huge. And then we have, this is a used one. And this is a new one. Up here is another Delta P, but for the EGR valve, EGR cooler flow. This is the old style. The old, the one before this came without this pigtail. And then it came with the pigtail, and now they have this style. Let me show you how the sensor failed, and I'll... I'll go back and show you where the location is and all that. So, it's a top cover. Nothing much, just uh, electrical part here. But, the most important part is that it sits on the DPF like this. So, this cover falls off, you can see it. But there's a cover in the back that's more important. Which is how it reads if the DPF is plugged or not. So, you can have a DP this sensor coming off, uh, a cover coming off the sensor. I'm sorry, and um, you're going to read a plug DPF, but in reality, it's the sensor that failed. So, you know, keep an eye on that. I recommend replacing these when you do a DPF clean. Or, uh, I mean, keep an eye on them when you're installed. You can see a little bit of a soot on the DPF. And... What happens is that it heats up. It seems like when you have an exhaust leak or you have a boost leak where the exhaust heats up more than it should, this cover, this glue comes off and then it comes off and then you have a plug DPF, but in reality you just have a sensor. I mean, not all the time a plug DPF is a sensor, but in this case it was. <clears throat> and, and I want to share that with you because it's been overlooked. This sensor part number is 214. 03962 uh, there's a part uh, there's a part there's a hose that goes here because you can see it broke off when I was removing it um, it's no big deal you just either remove the hose and push the broken off piece out or you grab a little screwdriver and you just screw it in and pull it out and then if you want to replace it for the hose the part number is 213-18290 I'll add it to the description so I um, just wanted to share that with you because it's been over. For the location, this is the older style DPF. It is located right there. And for the 2020 trucks or the engine with the high pressure common rail, it's roughly in the same location. It stands a little different. But that's it right there. With the sensor installed, if you're looking at the sensor when it's installed, you want to see if it's maybe uh, you're having this issue. You want to look for soot or this cover coming off right there. Uh, that's about it for this sensor. Um, hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.